Mark was having a quiet day when he heard a startling sound from outside. He was shocked to see a half-dead, badly injured Lynx staggering towards his house. What he did next will surprise you. When Mark woke up that morning, he expected the day to be uneventful and boring as it always was in these parts of the woods. His small cabin stood isolated amidst a sea of towering pines. He hardly ever saw other people here, and the only animal company he got were the squirrels. As a lover of wildlife and nature, he knew that a clear separation between men and wild creatures was a sign of a balanced environment. So when his solitude was abruptly shattered by a sharp crash just outside the cabin, he immediately knew that something was wrong. Startled, he rose from his chair, heart pounding against his chest. Who could be out here in the dead of night? Gripping the doorknob with trembling fingers, he slowly eased the door open, revealing the darkness beyond. At first, all he saw was the inky blackness of the night, but then something moved in the shadows. A figure staggered into the dim light, its movements sluggish and labored. As it drew closer, Mark's breath caught in his throat. A lynx, battered and bloodied, her emerald eyes glazed with pain and her blood staining the snow where she stood. Frozen in shock, Mark could hardly believe his eyes. What was a wild lynx doing at his doorstep, and why was she so badly injured? Questions raced through his mind, but one thing was clear. The lynx needed help, and she needed it now. With a hesitant step forward, Mark reached out a trembling hand, his heart heavy with uncertainty. The lynx collapsed at his feet, her labored breaths echoing in the stillness. As he kneeled beside the injured cat, his heart clenched at the sight before him. Her once sleek fur was matted with dirt and blood, and her breaths were shallow and ragged. But it wasn't just her condition that sent a pang of sympathy through him. It was the two tiny bundles nestled close to her side, their fragile forms barely visible in the dim light. With trembling hands, Mark reached out to examine the lynx's wounds, his fingers coming away slick with blood. The injuries were more severe, deeper than he'd initially thought. It was a wonder she'd even made it this far. But as his gaze shifted to the two cubs huddled beside their mother, Mark's heart broke all over again. Their fur was dull and unkempt, and their tiny bodies were racked with exhaustion. It was clear they'd been through a harrowing ordeal, one they might not survive without help. In that moment, sympathy overwhelmed Mark, washing away any reservations he may have had. He couldn't turn his back on these creatures, not when their lives hung in the balance. With a determined set to his jaw, he made a silent vow to do whatever it took to save them, no matter the cost. The lynx was now collapsed at his feet, so he heaved her off the wet ground and onto the porch. Her small cubs followed, their eyes never leaving their mother's form. He could feel the heat radiating from her skin, a sign of the fever raging within. As he carried her inside, he couldn't help but marvel at the sheer size and power of the creature he held in his arms. Laying the lynx down on a makeshift bed of blankets, Mark began to assess her injuries. His heart sank as he saw the deep gashes crisscrossing her fur, evidence of a violent encounter of uncertain nature. Tears welled up in his eyes as he imagined the pain and suffering she must have endured. With careful hands, Mark cleaned and dressed the lynx's wounds, doing his best to ease her suffering with the limited resources he had. He knew that her survival depended on him, and he was determined to do whatever it took to save her. His hands moved with practiced precision as he tended to the wounded lynx and her cubs, drawing on years of experience in emergency medicine. Once a paramedic, he had spent countless hours responding to crises and saving lives, honing his skills under the most intense pressure. But as he worked to nurse the lynx back to health, Mark faced challenges unlike any he'd encountered before. Resources were scarce in the remote wilderness, and every step forward seemed to be met with two steps back. The lynx, despite his best efforts, showed little improvement. Her condition stubbornly refused to improve. And then there were the cubs. The fragile, vulnerable cubs who clung to life with a tenacity that both amazed and terrified Mark. One of them, a tiny ball of fur with eyes that seemed too big for its head, began to convulse violently in the middle of the night, its body racked with fever. Mark's heart clenched at the sight, his mind racing with fear and uncertainty. As he worked tirelessly to save them all, doubts gnawed at the edges of Mark's mind. What horrors had the lynx and her cubs endured before stumbling upon his doorstep? And would his efforts be enough to ensure their survival? 
Only time would tell, but he vowed to fight for them with every ounce of strength he possessed. In this unforgiving wilderness, hope was the only thing that kept them going, and Mark refused to let it slip away. The wound on the lynx's body promised nothing good, but it was the cub who lay at death's door that weighed heaviest on his mind. Its tiny body shook with labored breaths that echoed through the small cabin, a haunting reminder of the fragility of life. Mark worked tirelessly to bring down the fever, administering antibiotics and scoops from the jars of herbal remedies that he'd been making over the last couple of months he'd been in the forest. All this was in a desperate bid to save the cub's life. As he worked, a grim realization began to take hold in Mark's mind. The lynx's injuries were not the result of a simple accident or encounter with a predator. No, these wounds were inflicted with intent, the mark of human cruelty and indifference. The hunters who had attacked the lynx had shown no mercy, their actions leaving a trail of destruction in their wake. Anger boiled in Mark's veins at the thought of such senseless violence, but he pushed it aside, focusing instead on the task at hand. For now, his priority was clear – to save the lynx and her cubs, to give them a chance at life in a world that had shown them nothing but cruelty. As night fell and the stars twinkled overhead, Mark sat by the lynx's side, keeping a vigilant watch over her and her babies. With gentle hands, he fed the tiny cubs and tended to their needs, his heart swelling with hope as they responded to his care. Sometime past midnight, as the fire crackled softly in the hearth, the sick cub's labored breathing began to ease, its fever finally breaking under Mark's relentless effort. Relief flooded through him, washing away the exhaustion and despair that had weighed him down. Silently, tears of gratitude welled in Mark's eyes as he watched over the sleeping lynx and her cubs, a sense of peace settling over him at last. With a weary smile, he allowed himself to drift off to sleep as well, the warmth of the fire and the quiet of the night lulling him into a peaceful slumber. But just as he began to sink into the depths of sleep, a startling sound shattered the silence, jolting him awake with a start. His heart pounding in his chest, Mark strained his ears, listening intently for any sign of danger that might threaten the fragile peace of the night. He sat up, his senses on high alert, as he scanned the dimly lit room for any sign of danger. But to his surprise, it was not danger that lurked in the shadows, but the lynx herself, her eyes glowing in the firelight as she stalked towards him with a sense of fearful purpose. Frozen in place, Mark watched in silent terror as the lynx approached, her gaze piercing through the darkness with an intensity that sent shivers down his spine. For a moment, he questioned the wisdom of his decision to help the wild creature, wondering if he'd underestimated the danger she posed. But just as he began to reconsider his choices, the lynx suddenly turned away, her sleek form disappearing into the shadows as she made her way to the door. There she began to scratch and wail, her desperate cries echoing through the stillness of the night. Confusion clouded Mark's mind as he watched the strange spectacle unfold before him, his sleep-addled brain struggling to make sense of the lynx's actions. And as he rubbed his eyes, trying to shake off the last vestiges of sleep, he couldn't help but wonder what secrets the mysterious creature held within her heart. With a mixture of fear and determination churning in his gut, Mark hesitated for a moment before making a split-second decision. Gripping his flashlight and hunting knife tightly in hand, he stepped out onto the front porch, the cool night air sending shivers down his spine as he followed the lynx into the darkness of the surrounding woods. The path ahead was shrouded in shadow. The only sound was the soft crunch of leaves beneath his boots as he trailed behind the wild creature. With each step, Mark felt the weight of uncertainty pressing down upon him, his senses straining to catch any sign of danger lurking in the darkness. Had the lynx somehow lured him outside to hurt him? What was really happening? The answer to his question was closer than he thought. As Mark and the lynx ventured deeper into the woods, they stumbled upon a scene that tore at his heartstrings. Lying on the forest floor, covered in dirt and blood, was a small lynx cub, the third of her litter and the only one who hadn't been able to escape the massacre with her. The mother lynx approached the motionless body, her cries of anguish echoing through the silent forest as she desperately nudged her cub, hoping against hope for some sign of life. But as cruel fate would have it, the cub remained still and silent, its tiny body already cold and lifeless. Tears welled in Mark's eyes as he watched the heart-wrenching scene unfold before him. 
the agony of loss etched into the lynx mother's every movement. Unable to bear the sight any longer, Mark stepped forward, gently cradling the lifeless cub in his hands. The lynx watched him closely, her once fierce gaze softened by grief as she followed him to a small bank by a nearby stream. With trembling hands, Mark dug a shallow grave in the soft earth, carefully placing the tiny lynx cub within. The mother circled the makeshift grave, her mournful cries filling the air as she bid a final farewell to her beloved offspring. In the quiet stillness of the forest, Mark stood solemnly by the grave, offering a silent prayer for the departed soul. And as the lynx mother turned away, her heart heavy with sorrow, Mark knew that he would never forget this moment. Together, they walked back to the safety of his cabin, their shared sorrow binding them together in a bond that transcended the barriers between man and beast. And as the first light of dawn broke over the horizon, Mark knew that their journey was far from over. But whatever lay ahead, they would face it together as allies in the wilderness. For the next few days, Mark dedicated himself to continue caring for the wounded lynx and her cubs. He cleaned and dressed the lynx's wounds, tenderly applying ointments to prevent infection. The gashes on her flank, jagged and raw, spoke of a struggle against a force far greater than herself. Poachers and hunters, driven by profit and bloodlust, stalked the forest with impunity, leaving death and destruction in their wake. And now, it seemed, the lynx and her cubs had fallen victim to their relentless pursuit. He couldn't undo the damage that had been done, but he could offer her solace in a world that had shown her none. He tended to the cubs as well, making sure that they were alive and well as he did for their mother. One day, as dawn broke over the tranquil forest, Mark awoke to a sight that filled his heart with wonder and disbelief. The lynx and her cubs, once sickly and weak, now stood before him vibrant and full of life. Their eyes sparkled with newfound vitality as they watched him with a mixture of curiosity and gratitude. One of the cubs nestled itself into Mark's lap. Its small body was warm, and the trust in its eyes was a clear indicator of the bond that had formed between man and beast over the last few days. Mark's heart swelled with emotion as he gazed upon the lynx mother, her majestic presence a reminder of the miracles that could be found in the unlikeliest of places. And then, in a moment that would stay with him forever, the lynx lowered her head in a gesture that could only be interpreted as gratitude. Mark's breath caught in his throat as he watched the magnificent creature bow, humbled by the depth of emotion conveyed in that simple gesture. With a sense of awe and reverence, he watched as the lynx and her cubs made their way to the open doors of the cabin. As they disappeared into the dappled light of the forest, Mark knew that their encounter had been nothing short of extraordinary. As the lynx and her cubs disappeared into the forest, Mark felt a renewed sense of purpose stir within him. Their brief encounter had opened his eyes to the harsh realities of the world around him, and he knew that he couldn't simply stand by and do nothing. With determination burning in his heart, Mark set out to make a difference. Over the next couple of years, he returned to education to learn about wildlife and joined campaigns that worked to save it. Soon, he found a conservation foundation dedicated to protecting the rights of all creatures great and small. Drawing from his own experiences, he launched campaigns against illegal hunting practices, shining a light on the atrocities committed in the name of greed and power. But amidst the chaos of his crusade, Mark never forgot the lynx and her cubs. Their memory fueled his passion, driving him forward even in the darkest of times. And as the years passed, their legacy grew a beacon of hope in a world fraught with despair. One day, years after their paths had diverged, Mark returned to the forest where he'd first encountered the lynx. He hadn't been there in a long time, and the sight of his dilapidated cabin broke his heart. Still, he wasn't there for his house. He wanted to find his old friends. Though he searched high and low, there was no sign of the trio that had changed his life forever. And yet, as he stood beneath the canopy of trees, he felt their presence all around him, a silent reminder of the bond they'd shared. Over the years, he'd always wondered what happened to them. Did they survive that night and many after that? Did they remain wandering the forest happily? Returning to his old cabin, Mark sat on the porch and watched as the sun dipped below the horizon. In the fading light, he reminisced about that fateful night, the night that had set him on a path he could never have imagined. And as he gazed out into the wilderness, he knew that his journey was far from over. What a heartwarming story! 
Would you help a wild animal if you found it half dead outside your house? What do you think about hunting? Share your thoughts with us in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more beautiful stories like this one.